Hi, this is Michari from Penn State. Today we present our research, Fake Resume Attacks, Data Poisoning on Online Job Platforms. Online job platforms have gained a popularity and these platforms have become essential tools, allowing job seekers to showcase their profiles and recruiters to find the right candidates efficiently. Despite their advantages, online job platforms have vulnerabilities due to their nature. The ease of creating multiple accounts can lead to a malicious use and the platform usually rely on self-reported information. For example, reportedly, there were the 1,000 fake SpaceX engineers who never existed on LinkedIn. Based on this background, we are motivated to explore a research question, can the injection of fake resumes into online job platforms influence the predictive outcomes? For the attacker's knowledge and settings, first, we follow a black box approach, and attackers can only inject a limited number of fake resumes. Creating accounts on a job platform is easy. The fake resumes need to consist of legitimate companies. Finally, the user profiles are accessible to the attackers. Based on those settings, we propose a fake resume framework, Francis. We have four core components, which are probabilistic job generator, reality regulation, attack module, and surrogate model. Then we propose our three attack scenarios. The first scenario is company promotion attack, where we maximize the likelihood of target companies. The second scenario is company demotion attack, where we minimize the likelihood of target companies. The third scenario is user promotion attack, where we maximize the likelihood of certain users being matched to certain companies. For the evaluation, we use two types of resume dataset, tech and business, and we use four existing attack models for the baseline models. Also, it is important to measure the success rate of the attack. We use the improvement rate as our measure. In this video, we only show the company promotion attack result. When targeting small size companies with 10% injection, Francis achieved an improvement rate of 23.17 in the 10.48 for the tech and business dataset. Even with a tiny injection amount of 0.1%, Francis improved up to 32%, thus the result demonstrates such a vulnerability. We have two more scenarios actually, and this is a summary figure of our attack scenarios. Please see our paper for more details. Thank you for watching the video.